Here we are today with my favorite 10-year-old boy, Nancy Cartwright. Hey, Nancy. Hi, John. So having you as a guest on the Writers and Illustrators of the Future podcast actually stemmed from your attending the Hollywood Gala, where we released Elwin Hubbard Presents Writers of the Future Volume 38, and you presented with the Grand Prize Awards. Yeah. So rather, so rather than discuss your iconic role as Bart Simpson, in the podcast, we discussed your growth and subsequent influence as an artist, which included your audiobook, I'm Still a 10-Year-Old Boy, which I thoroughly enjoyed, and my favorite chapter, Six Salient Steps to Successful Survival, which I drilled before doing this. So what was your favorite part of the interview? Oh, man. Um... We covered everything. We covered so much. I, I mean, going and being actually a presenter at that award ceremony, it's one of my most favorite ceremonies because these young people from all around the world, actually, they're brought in, they're flown in, and it's the first time ever that they're being published. And so they are so honored. And they are not Hollywood. They are not used to the environment that is Hollywood um, entertainment. And thank goodness for that. Um, <laughs> they're so fresh and there is a, they have a thirst for getting some help and getting some truth and that they're going to be published for the first time. I just, it's so touching to me to listen to their, and everybody's a winner. You know, everybody was flown in and they, they get to go to go through a whole week of training and getting education and sitting in seminars from some of the industry professionals, these writers and illustrators. I think that's a beautiful opportunity. Um, as a writer, I think I would like to like to be one of those coaches next year. I'm just saying, but maybe we could work that out. But um, I love that. And I also love, you know, I the whole concept of just working with artists. You know, they're not so... It's a tough town. Hollywood is a tough town anywhere and that they're actually doing what they love and they get so much support to do that. And the works are beautiful. You get everybody that attended, got a copy of, you know, this, whatever is it like the 38th book, which what 38th book. And they're, they're really good and full color reproductions of the original illustrations too. It's just beautiful. So I love that. And I always love talking about myself. I mean, that goes without saying. I love sharing about Bart Simpson and that awesome career that I have have had and I'm continuing to have, and it's growing and expanding, and that's always fun to share to maybe. If but it's an amazing journey, too, because some of these guys are not any different than you are when at the get-go. You know, they just they got a real drive. Yeah. Like that guy you presented to, Zane Lodi. Yeah. He's had several jobs offered since having one, but he's just, he's totally locked and loaded. So great. So great. You know, it's just at this point in my career, I love that I can be an influence because believe it or not, I, I probably get as much as they do out of it. I'm not kidding. I just having these conversations afterwards at the reception and uh, meeting young people that are starting out, it's it's kind of like a, a give and take sort of a thing that we both benefit from. Which is awesome. And again, your, your book, especially that one chapter on where you're helping to set up, here's some really successful tools to a, to a real career where a person's able to maintain their own integrity too, yeah. is just invaluable, I think. Yeah, thanks. It, I kind of narrowed it down to only six instead of 10, because six will get you successful faster. That's, that's the only thing behind that. So, and that's even helpful. <laughs> yeah. And if, you know, getting sage advice from a 10 year old boy is going to help you like to get successful faster then go for it. <laughs> exactly. So anyway, so I'm really, I'm very happy that, uh, we're able to, to discuss, you know, these, these points in your book and that you're able to present. And I think people are really going to enjoy this podcast interview. Great. Good. They can tune in and I think they'll have fun and they'll probably laugh and hopefully, well, yeah, hopefully they'll get something out of it. I think so. I'm sure they will. Yeah. I know they will, as a matter of fact. Cool. Great. So thank you very much, Nancy. Yeah, you bet. Bye, John. Bye-bye, Nancy. <laughs>